Hey my dear friends, the movie kicks off with a building engulfed in flames, just like hormone gun penetrate the hormone cave, where a group of policemen, including Max, are striving to rescue those trapped inside. Amidst the chaos, Max heroically saves an elderly woman from the inferno. However, she pleads with him to rescue her husband as well, who remains trapped inside. After ensuring the woman's safety, Max bravely ventures back into the burning building. Tragically, a sudden collapse of the roof leaves Max pinned under debris, hinting at a grim fate. In the subsequent scene, we encounter Max's father, the only man who elevated hormone level of Max's mom, James, who is rousing his other son, Tom, from slumber. Tom, known for his perpetual laziness, spends most of his days sleeping. James, in an effort to motivate him, has even set up a comic book shop, hoping it would inspire Tom to earn some income. Meanwhile, Detective David pays a visit to James's house, as James, having retired recently, is eager to solve one last case. Both David and James embark on a new investigation, prompted by reports of a peculiar odor emanating from a nearby building. Concerned neighbors have been holding their noses due to the stench. Upon entering the building, David and James proceed to the basement, where they discover the body of a man bearing signs of severe assault. The autopsy later reveals that the man had been heavily dosed with steroids and subjected to relentless workouts, leading to a fatal accident during bench pressing. Later, David's superior, Norma, arrives at the scene dressed as a comic book character, reflecting her passion for comics. Upon her arrival, she promptly removes James from the case due to his retirement. Witnessing this decision, David feels frustrated but is powerless to intervene. Later that night, David receives a notification on his phone about the discovery of a dead body. Rushing to the scene, he finds the corpse adorned in warrior armor, with evidence suggesting an attempt to keep the victim alive using machinery after removing his heart. This revelation shocks David, leaving him puzzled about who could commit such a heinous act. Meanwhile, Tom notices a photo of the deceased Jim Gore resembling the Hulk, sparking speculation that someone may have intended to transform him into a superhero. James, determined to unravel the mystery, connects the dots between the victims, suspecting a scheme to assemble a team of superhumans. Norma begins to consider James' theory seriously. Tom is assigned as David's partner due to his expertise in comics and superheroes. Together, they investigate the location where the armored victim was found. Tom notices weapons reminiscent of Lord of the Rings, including an axe that seems out of place. David seizes the axe for further examination, leading to the discovery of fingerprints belonging to a firefighter on a stick. They rush to the firefighter's residence, where they find him trapped in a glass cage, clad in a mysterious suit and engulfed in flames. Acting swiftly, they rescue the firefighter from his perilous situation. Unfortunately, the man passes away before they can intervene. Tom speculates that there was an effort to transform this individual into a likeness of the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four, but he met the same fate as the others. Now, even the body resembling the Human Torch is no more. It undergoes examination, revealing that the suit was fused to the body in such a manner that removing it would also strip away the skin due to the extreme heat applied to the body initially. The suit was worn to regulate this heat. The condition of the body suggests prolonged suffering for at least three days before the man's demise. David confides in Norma about James's condition. Learning that James is battling cancer, Norma urges him to spend his remaining time with his son, as even Tom is unaware of his father's illness. David is deeply affected by this news and joins James for dinner at his place. During the meal, Tom inquires about David's parents, prompting David to reveal that they were victims of a long unsolved case. He expresses his desire to pursue their case, but his department denied him permission to investigate personal matters. Tom draws parallels between David's story and Batman's origin, which surprises David. Retrieving his parents' case file with Norma, David discovers a clue linking the killer to Batman's Detective Comics number 33, the same issue that tells Batman's origin story. This revelation shocks David. Tom suggests that the perpetrator likely possesses the original classic comics of various superheroes, 
using them as a blueprint for the killings. Classic comic books are quite rare, but I do know someone who might possess such valuable items. Now, everyone heads to this individual, an underground comic dealer with an extensive collection. He reveals that a man named Victor purchased those classic comics from him and provides his address. David embarks on a solo mission to confront Victor, only to find him dead in the room. Enraged, David fires at the body, but suddenly, gas emanates from Victor's corpse and a masked figure named Nova appears. Nova claims to be the true culprit behind the killings. The gas induces hallucinations in David, causing him to perceive insects emerging from Nova's mask. David questions Nova's motives, to which Nova declares himself the villain in their story, intent on eliminating David, the hero. A fierce battle ensues between them, but just as Norma intervenes and attempts to shoot Nova, he blinds her with spray and flees. David informs Tom about Nova's revelation. Tom suggests that Nova sees himself as a supervillain, engaging David as a superhero rather than a detective. He advises David to embrace this perspective and prepare for the impending showdown. David, taken aback by the revelation of his adversary's identity and motives, agrees to Tom's counsel and dons a peculiar superhero costume to confront Nova. Meanwhile, James clandestinely investigates Nova's identity, intending to seek assistance. However, Nova ambushes James, incapacitates him, and brings him to David as leverage. Nova contacts Tom, informing him of James's capture and demanding David's solitary appearance as a superhero if he wishes to see James alive. Tom, alarmed by the situation, reaches out to David for assistance. James finds himself imprisoned by Nova, who reveals his true identity as the doctor from the post-mortem examination. Nova explains his intention to create a superhero akin to Batman, using David as the perfect candidate due to his compelling backstory and intelligence. Nova admits to experimenting on individuals to create superheroes, but failed, resulting in their deaths. He plans to sacrifice himself to motivate David, believing that only then will David realize his potential to defeat villains. Nova then initiates a self-destructive act, causing his face to melt, a consequence of his obsession with superheroes for an extended duration. David arrives on the scene, witnessing Nova shoot and kill James, fueling his rage. A fierce battle ensues between David and Nova, during which David removes Nova's mask, but fails to recognize him due to the disfigurement. Nova mocks David, revealing that the true face of evil has no identity. He attempts to end his life by jumping into the acid, urging David to fulfill his duty as a detective. However, David rejects his role as a detective, embracing his newfound identity as a superhero, much to Nova's satisfaction. Nova then commits suicide by jumping into the acid. Later, David and the others discover Nova's basement, resembling Batman's hideout, complete with a supercomputer. It becomes evident that Nova had been controlling everything from this location, indicating that he is indeed the same doctor who conducted the postmortem. Consequently, David adopts a dual role, functioning as a detective during the day and transforming into a superhero at night to safeguard the city from criminals, akin to a vigilante. Despite Nova's flawed methods, they inadvertently led to the creation of a superhero. Thus, the movie concludes with a blend of emotions, marking the end of the story.